Mav, nice yes. to meet you. Yes. So we're here in Leighton Orient where you're playing this year. Yeah. yeah. And you started off last year as well. How's yeah. it like starting off? It's been really good so yeah. far. So coming in January. Yeah. And then it's been tough, like the difference coming up to a full time team, such a big club as well, yeah. but it's been good. I feel like I'm doing well as well, so just gotta keep up now. Mentally, how is it from going from part time football to full time, uh, full -time football? Because last year you were at East Yeah, Park, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. And now you're in Leighton Orient. So yeah. How is it coming up? Like, what's the step up like? It's tough, but it's just like, because I know that's what I wanted, I've always wanted it, so I was always ready for it to happen. So I've just been waiting for it to happen, really. What yeah. but like in change room, is there a dif different atmosphere? Is the like different mentality as well? Is it stronger mentality? Yeah, yeah. The atmosphere is you know, the same. Like, you have the you have, like, the banter, like, yeah. Everyone's the same, isn't it? But the mentality is different as in like people want to win here. Yeah. Like you want to go up. Like that's the aim for this year. So there's more winners here. Yeah. Do you look at yourself as one of the funny ones or? Nah, not really. I just, <laughs> I'm just, I just go on with it really. Uh, yeah. yeah. So like on a match day, what would your routine be like if you're coming into a match day? So let's say yesterday you had a football match. So How yesterday we the evening game, just to come in for four o'clock for a pre-match meal. Yeah. Eight, chilled for a bit, played cards until about six o'clock. We had our pre-match meeting. We went through the other teams, like tactics and what we're going to do for the game and then got ready for the game. Yeah. yeah. So for you, what type, do you do any things like, would you, is there a certain way you prepare for matches? Uh, or do you just have a normal, do you have like, oh, you have to eat this on a match day? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like on a match day, this way or nah, nah. This? But on a match day I normally eat just one slice of toast, yeah. beans and egg and that's it. That's it? Yeah. And then you're full for I'm the day? Damn good, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, another thing I was going to ask you as well, growing up, obviously, where did you start off and what age did you start off? Started playing about five, six, no, nah, about five, six. I bought it off home. It's just like a local club, like in Tottenham, where I'm yeah. from. Just from there, really. So played there until 16. Then I went to Oxford after that. So that's how I started playing my whole flat, my whole my young career. Yeah. And how was it in Oxford? Like, what was the football like? How was it that step up from obviously an amateur? Yes, and yeah. Sunday, league Sunday league, yeah. So getting like into it was different because, like, where I'm from, we we're just used to like being fickle, just yeah. like out battling teams. But there, it's a learn how to actually be technical, learn how to play, and all that. So it was it was it was different, but I, I adapted quick. Yeah. What about like? Don't you think that helped in a sense though? So you've got all your friends playing, you're playing physical. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And when you do come in and go into Oxford, does it help you in a sense where obviously it might not be as technical when you're playing with your friends, but the physicality bit would just give you a little advantage in training. Yeah. Because you know, oh, I've been doing this and that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The concrete pitch or the astro pitch around the corner. Yeah. I know mentally I'm strong enough to come in here and do something good with myself and play good and yeah. I can hold my own type of thing. Yeah, 100% because like, like you said, like I'm coming in, these, the boys I'm meeting, I mean that from Oxford didn't grow up how I grew up, they didn't play how I played so I have an advantage over them as in like I said, the physical side and the mental side as well. Yeah, and growing up in London as well, moving from London to Oxford, yeah. it's not easy as you said, yeah, as a yeah, young 16 yeah. year old, how was that for you mentally? Was it like? It was very hard, like one of the hardest things I've done so far in my life but it was good because it got me away from all like the hype and all the yeah. troubles like in London that like, everyone gets around that age you finish school like you don't know what you're going to do with your life yeah. and I moved there and it just changed me really it opened yeah. my mind to everything and it like yeah it really helped me and I grew up I had to grow up quick I was there by myself yeah so from then I like I knew like what I wanted to do I wanted to play football for the rest of my life was you always a centre back yeah, 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 always, so yeah, yeah, always, always, yeah, yeah. Else. Nah, always defender. See, that's funny because most people like want to play centre mid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always, I wanted, to, yeah, I wanted to play like centre mid. I did for school a yeah. bit and that, but then, but it was mainly really centre back. Yeah. yeah. So, like, who's the most inspirational footballer for you? So, when you look up, let's say English leagues, who do you look at? Rio Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand. Yeah. How come do you look at him? What makes you like look at him? I feel like I can relate to him, just his attributes, everything he does, like, just his way he's, way he's on and off the pitch. So, like, I've always looked up to him from when I started playing till now. Obviously, he's, obviously he's retired, but yeah. he's still, like, the way I want to play. Well, but what would you say abroad? 
a broad Joram Bauteng. Jerome yeah. Bauteng. You can't go yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid. Solid German. You can't <laughs> go wrong with Jerome. Solid. Yeah, and you can play as well. Yeah. So do you look at them and say, listen, like they're my idols. Do you actually watch video on them? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. See what they do yeah. on and off the ball. Yeah. And obviously mentally as well, they're quite loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. material yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely take, try to take notes on anything they do to add it to my game, hopefully improve my game. Yeah. So when you first went from Oxford, where did you go next? Uh, so when I got let go after Oxford, I didn't get a pro. Yeah. I dropped down to non-league, to the Conference South in Chelmsford. So I signed for them for two there for two years, and then after that, I went to Concord in Rangers in the same league in the Conference South for six months. Then I left there halfway through the season, went to East Farrakh in the same league as well for a year. Then before I came to the Orient. So that step up from Oxford, which were you were youth team, youth team, yeah, youth yeah, team, to let's uh, Chelmsford, yeah, your first team, yeah, non-league, yeah. A lot of people will probably see it as oh. It's non-league with lower, but yeah. in a sense, sense. yeah, it's a step up, yeah, higher. yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So how was that for you? Hundred percent, because when I first came in, I was getting bullied, I was getting <laughs> yeah, yeah, thrown yeah, around, yeah. left, right, center. <laughs> yeah, but because I'm used to, I'm used to being yeah, bigger than everyone bully, else. Yeah. yeah, so when I come in, I was playing against big men. Yeah, like they don't care, they don't care how big I am. Yeah. They throw me about, and then you have to like, you have to learn to play more of your head than your body. You can't fight everyone. You can't always like go into every tackle. You have to learn when and where yeah. to press, when and where to tackle. And you have to learn how to talk as well, communicate. Like, I had to man up quick. Yeah, quick, yeah, 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 yeah. Quick. And then I done it to be fair. So. And how is it? It's like, as I say, like in youth team Oxford, you don't have as much pressure on you. Yeah. Because you do have your fans, of course, but it's more family. Yeah, just family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you get to non league first team at like yeah. Chelmsford, you have fans. So yeah. Like, literally been with the club for 10 yeah. years plus, and it is a bit more pressure on you. Yeah, yeah. So how did you deal with that type of thing? I got quite lucky to be fair because the fans liked me so they, and they knew that I was young when I first came as yeah. well so they gave me a lot of support and didn't really like get on my back even though I was I wouldn't say I was struggling because I was still doing well yeah. I was getting like I was getting like muscled a lot but I was still like playing well so yeah. Lisa helped me tell me like keep going you're doing well and then that helped me so yeah that's quite, it was good see that's like as I say that's a good thing because a lot of people will look at it and think as I said youth team to non league yeah yeah going to be a walk in the park yeah yeah it's not, it's really not be yeah. A walk in the park. Uh, how do you think non-league is progressing from obviously when you was at Chelmsford to now because that is has been a couple of yeah. years so how do you think it's been progressing it's definitely going up it's always going up every season the teams are getting better and better the quality of players are getting better and better like so many players from the league dropping down into non-league yeah. playing part-time and the level is just so high now like I played with so many players that have come alone from prem teams yeah. and can't handle it because it's so different you think they you hear like, oh, part-time non-league is gonna be, yeah. not going to be good, but the standard is actually very decent. How was it when you first found out you was getting to Leighton Orient? How was the feeling? I was just buzzing there. I couldn't believe it. Cause I always knew that I was, had a good season yeah. that season, so I knew that there was a few clubs sniffing around. But when it actually happened, yeah. I didn't think it would happen so soon. And so it just happened like overnight sort of thing. So you moved towards the end of last season? So I moved end of January. Yeah. And then obviously this year you've actually got to have a good pre-season. Yeah, yeah. Gel more with the team, so yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it benefited me, benefited me coming in end of last season as well, so that I can gel, meet the boys, and gel with them to start properly this season. And like now I know everyone there, everyone knows me. So just when I come back in pre-season, it's just like being part of the team again. Yeah. So when you first made your late in Orient debut, how was that for you? Oh, feeling. It was nerve wracking. Like, I was just so overwhelmed. Like, yeah. I just, just couldn't believe that. Like, but the nerves actually there, happening. Would you yeah. Be more excited than nervous. It was, yeah, I was nervous, hundred percent. But luckily, I'd, I'd been training for a whole month. Yeah. Before I made my debut, so I was training with the boys every day. Um, watching, I was on the bench for a month as well. So I watched about four or five games before I came on. So I sort of knew what to expect, and what to, what to do. But obviously, when you come on, it's different. So yeah. when I, I have to come on. The centre half were injured early doors in the yeah. game. Seems about first 15 minutes, so I had to come straight on. So I was just nervous then, but I came and I done well. So you have scored a goal for Luton already? Yeah, How two many actually. Two? Yeah, yeah How already. Your first goal? First goal was a header. I mean, 1 2 1 that game. Second goal. Ooh, last minute equaliser on drew one one. How was the feeling though like of scoring? Do you actually feel like you have scored? Yeah, yeah. Just like, it's like a daze, yeah, 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 yeah. Both of them to be fair. When I when I actually went in, I was just like 
what's going on like yeah, I couldn't yeah, believe yeah, it yeah. yeah then after when it like it's, it's sinks in then it's just a good feeling yeah if yeah. you was to let's say analyze yourself what would you say is one of the strongest bits of your game i would say my physicality good in the air as well and i also like to play get the ball down when i can don't really like lumping it too much yeah, what yeah. would you say you need to improve on my positioning off the ball i reckon a lot i mean my positioning off the ball and some of my timing yeah my timing when i wear to tackle when i'm there to like yeah. stick a leg in the wind obviously hold that comes with when experience you're yeah 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 so yeah you trade more games that's there you get more organization will help you yeah you exactly obviously let's talk about more outside of football like what are your hobbies what would you like to do apart from football so if you didn't play for late and all yeah. today what do you think you'll be doing everyone asks me this and it's, it's the hardest question yeah. ever like i know obviously you always had in mind you yeah play football, but what would you do like do you ever would they try to be a rapper? Would they try to be look quite too basketball? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think I would have stuck stuck with sports somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, if not football, probably running or something, some sort of. You're I'm quick. good. With, yeah, I'm quite good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm good with like my body and my hands. So definitely would have stuck to like yeah, a sport. Maybe good music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, any good at rapping? Not rapping, but something like it's in the studio somehow, yeah. like behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. What's it? You have a one two one. <laughs> no, no, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could have done. Go on the mic. Like only in the shower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's a good shower singer yeah. until it comes out and you actually hear your voice in real life. So now that's quite good as well. As I said, growing up, like family-wise, who helped you out a lot? Like who did you look to at your your hard times and stuff like that? Uh, my twin brother actually because yeah. he plays football as well so we're literally always together so anything we do anything we go through he goes through as well whether I go through he goes through whether he goes through I go through so just been there for each other and like, there's that help time. as well because yeah. like, you can come home from a match and you're tired and yeah. you feel like you've had a bad game yeah yeah, yeah. would it help like when he comes and encourage you and stuff yeah, like yeah. saying you know what come on I know what you're like yeah you know? yeah yeah I'm your twin brother, we play football yeah. since we started playing football. Yeah. So does that help you in a sense? Yeah, hundred percent because he understands like it, literally everything. And yeah. he, if I tell him I had a bad game, he would know why I had a bad game or what I'd done wrong without me even telling him that like, we just know each other in and out, so it does help massively. Does it put pressure on you when you have a brother that's a twin of course? Yeah. Obviously you're not identical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone does know you guys as brothers. Does yeah. it put a bit of pressure on you? Too? Yeah, it does because everyone's always expects us to do the same yeah. and do well at the same time and you know we're twins, we're still different people, yeah. we're gonna take we're gonna have our own time here. So it is pressure but we're used to it now. Yeah, I but guess. in a sense as well that can help because if I got a twin brother, yeah, yeah. I feel like it'll motivate us both to do, more. Yeah, it's both push each other. Like in a football sense you've got Ronaldo Messi, yeah, who score forty goals plus a season and everyone compares them together. But yeah, really yeah. truly I think it's helping them become a better player. Yeah, definitely. Because exactly. you need that to like feed off each other to get the best out of you. Mm. Yeah. Talking about Ronaldo and Messi, who are you? Ronaldo Messi? Guys. Messi all day. Messi? Yeah. See, I will have to personally disagree with you on that one. You're Ronaldo? Yeah, I'm a Ronaldo guy. Messi all day. Another thing is all that made me be a Ronaldo guy is FIFA. Yeah. Put the ball in the air to Ronaldo's game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Messi is a bit hard to get through players with FIFA, so I have to go with <laughs> Ronaldo. Because when I win it back first, then I'm struggling with yeah. just leaps. Yeah, yeah. Whether it was five yards or four, it's still getting the back of the game. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite good as well. What football team did you grow up supporting? Arsenal. Man. Arsenal. Yeah. See, that makes sense because we spoke to your brother and he said Man U and yeah. I literally asked him, I was like, how did you support Man U and you grew up in Tottenham? Yeah, yeah. So that's another thing, man. how did you support <laughs> Arsenal and you grew up in Tottenham? I think just the players they had, like, the team was unreal when I started supporting them. said so Henri, yeah. Burkham, the solid back force of Sol Campbell, Toure, Lauren, Ashley Cole, like, I had to support them, you couldn't go wrong. Yeah. But obviously another thing is well, you are Leighton Orient now. Obviously in the future you'd love to push on but you need to concentrate on Leighton Orient. Yeah, That's yeah. Where you're at. What goals do you set yourself now for Leighton Orient? To push up through the leagues. Yeah. Win this so for now for this season I wanna win the league. 